Hi friends, welcome to the Best YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about you know, about the moments we run at Old Trafford. On the 1st of November 2020, Arsenal went to Old Trafford when, when they played against Manchester United. And it was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's 100th game in charge as, as the manager of Manchester United. The team news from Manchester United were De Gea, De Gea and Rambasaka, Lindelof, Maguire, Shaw, Pogba, Bruno Fernandes, Fred Rodriguez, McTomin Scott McTominay, then Rashford and Greenwood. And for Arsenal, Leno, Tierney, Gabriel, Holding, Bellerin, Partey, Saka, Alneni, Lacazette, William and Aubameyang. So uh, basically... Uh, okay, so basically, um, Solskjaer went. Only going to Solskjaer went for a four-one-two-one-two in different formations to get his sides going, as United had made a poor start to the season only until when they went went back to business. From from when they went three-one away at Everton, and then for Arsenal, we did have a we did have a good start to the season, but our form just slumped. So Arteta, so Arteta went for a three-four-three. Three. So basically, so basically at the start, right, so we started the, the game really well, but but by the time, a half time it was goalless. So in so Arsenal were played really well at the start, but then they're beginning to become shy at scoring goals. But they just had, but they just have to show that they've got to be strong enough to win games. But for United now, they've got to get on to, to what they're supposed to do. Yeah, there, there's been three yellow cards. One for, for Man United, Fred, and two for Rob Holding and Gabriel. But then the second half, we was just going, or United um, had the chances to, to get back into the game. Yeah. Three teams made substitutions. Nemanja Matic, Tony Van der Beek, and Edison Cavani came on to replace Fred, Bruno Fernandes, and Mason Greenwood. And for Arsenal, we made three, three substitutions. Scott Mustafi, Ainsley Mendes, and Nazan Eddie and Ketty came on to replace Lacazette, Tavillian, and the Bermiang. Well, 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 we're going to talk about the 69th minute. Arsenal rewarded the penalty as as Paul Pogba fouled Hector Bellerin, and referee Mike Dean gave gave a penalty to Arsenal. Aubameyang took took the penalty. Around the middle of September 2020, he signed a new contract, and he's hoping to get United to get Arsenal to three points. Before Aubameyang took the penalty, right, it took him just thirty seconds to take it before the whistle. He was the man in charge to take the penalty and and to give Arsenal the the lead at Old Trafford and once the full time whistle went, and I'll be to be, be to confirm that Arsenal have won at Old Trafford since two thousand six and to end their winner, the thirty game winless at away against the top six team. So Aubameyang became confident and took the penalty and he did it. To then after that we had to we had to defend really well. We took the penalty, okay. So he, he scored the penalty then we had to defend until and until the final whistle. We were given four minutes we were given five minutes additional time. And after that game, it was confirmed that we won at Old Trafford, and this was the best game that we've done so, and we've done it, and we've and we've made history in Arteta's career, and we've done it since style. Thank you for watching this video on my YouTube channel. And the reason why I've decided to upload this video onto YouTube was that I need to talk about our historic win at uh, Old Trafford, as I hadn't done the vlog on my YouTube channel 
in in the whole year and i've decided to change everything in uh, in my thing thank you for watching this video as my youtube channel don't forget to like a comment on this as well as subscribing to my youtube channel thank you and god bless you all thank you so much